Hello everyone, it's me JP from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you best free of course portable photo editor for Windows computer. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for one application name as photo demo. And on the first list, you will see its official website. Just click on it. Now you can see the preview of this applications. So you can see in the above download option, just click on it. Wait for a few seconds until the complete downloading is done. So finally the download has been completed. So let me go to the folder where it's being downloaded and let me close this web browser. So since it's a zip file, just double click it to extract this zip file. So now just open the extracted folder. Now you will see here one file name photo demo. Just double left click on it. So you can see here some instructions. So when you are launching this application for the first time, it will ask you some permissions like would you want to set some themes like dark, light mode, whatever theme, whatever themes you want to set. If you prepare a light theme, then you can choose a light theme. Or you can prepare a dark team also. So I'll just keep it as dark team. You can select your respective language, whichever language you like. So I'll just click on OK. Now you can see the user interface of this application, right? So it almost looks like a premium Adobe Photoshop, right? So here you can see new image, open image, import from clipboard, and there is one very useful options available inside this portable photo editor is a best processing that means if you want to convert some image file like from jpg to png or so and so so you can do multiple photo conversions using this options so it is very rare to see in the such portable free photo editor such features are not available so on the left side you can see uh, tons of icons which are the tools icons you can use for different purposes so i will discuss on later on so first let me give you a quick overview about the options on the above you can see the file option so on the file option you will get like import save save as export so we'll learn more about it after exporting an image and next to it is a edit so let me import one image file so that i can give you a clear details about this each and every options available here so let me open our image here so let me select one image file now you can see all the buttons are being activated now you can see here all the buttons are available here so you will get all the necessary tools like clone tools even there is a bucket tools like a paint bucket there is a magic tools there is a lasso tools tons of options like almost which is available in the premium Adobe Photoshop photo editors also so on the above you can see in the edit under the edit you will see some options like cut, paste, clear, fill, strokes and next to it is the image options you can duplicate, resize, canvas size, fit canvas to active layer tons of options like rotate flip horizontal flip particle you can add one you can get one option here which is not available in most of the free photo editors is the animations or you can create some animated pictures like a uh, some moving photo or any parts of the photo you can make a uh, moving parts by using the animation options next to it is a layer so you can see under the layer options like transparency also you can get under these options next to it is a select so you can get a tons of options here next to it is the adjustment you can get auto correct colors histograms map lightning monochrome shadows tons of options means almost everything whichever you need for a photo editor software next to it is the effects almost looks similar like a at the photo source like artistic blur distort edge and everything so i'm not making bored by showing each and every options 
so I'll just give you a quick overview under the tools you will see here get some options like the create macro play macro animated screen captures you can import some third-party libraries also and next to it is a view you can zoom in zoom out so rulers so status bar next to it is a uh, windows under the windows you'll get a toolbox you can enable like medium buttons large buttons image tab strips and last is uh, about the software itself so you will get almost all the tools necessary for a respective photo editor so once your editing is done you can just go to the file and you can save as so if you want to save it in different image formats still tons of image formats are available so you can see your even the ICO that is the icon image format is also available you can get the PMP GIF PNG almost everything even the Adobe Photoshop PSD image format is also available and even there is one more options in the inside the file option you can export it as animated GIF animated PNG animated web P also so in my opinion this portable photo editor is providing almost all the premium features and the good thing is that it's totally free of cost so in my opinion you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching